Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Today's video is going to be a extreme clean with me as I am tackling some spring cleaning. Not only will I be doing the usual chores that you usually see, I'll be also washing some windows, I'm going to be vacuuming my couch, and I'm going to be organizing a few junk drawers that have been neglected over the winter. So if you like this content, go ahead and give it a like and let's get going. In our old apartment, we used this countertop as a counter for our kitchen because we had no counter space. It was literally like six to eight inches maybe beside the sink and that was all. But in this apartment, thank the Lord, we actually have counters and we have plenty of them. So now we use this in the dining area as more of like a buffet and these are just accumulating junk. These drawers are filled with garbage and some of it we do need like I don't know, the command strips and the measuring tape and the glue and things like that. Like we do need some of these things, batteries, a lighter, a little lint roller, obviously, like just little things that you, you don't really have a home for, but you do need. So I don't know. Some of it though was just garbage. And so it really needed to be organized, looked through some trash thrown away. You get the idea. As you can see, I am pouring Frankie's treats into this container, which does live in this drawer. And anytime he sees me open it, he whines at me because he knows what's in there. I'm pretty sure all cats do this, but it doesn't make it any less cute.
I'm not gonna mop the kitchen because I mopped it a week ago today actually um, so it didn't really need it but I did desperately need to sweep Frankie is quite the piggy when he eats and two-thirds of the dirt pile by the time I got to his bowl was from him throwing food out of his bowl so it desperately needed done <laughs> Also, I've gotten some questions on this blue rug. It is from Five and Below. So I have a tip when it comes to degreasing a stove top and that is from um, a friend of mine on YouTube, I'll link her channel down below, but that is to use lemon essential oil on your stovetop and it degreases it like a charm. The camera doesn't pick up on it as much as I was hoping, but it does give you the idea. Um, and it also smells delicious. So another thing that I did today that I don't usually do, and I'm going to count this as spring cleaning because I don't do it as often as I should, is I cleaned the inside of my microwave. A trick to this as well, if you microwave a glass of water for about a minute before you try to clean it out, it makes it so much easier. My dear, dear husband last night made me dinner and he helped me to clean because I wasn't feeling the best. So kudos to him and he's awesome. Also, while I'm doing the dishes here, I wanted to have a quick discussion um, and kind of talk about my thoughts on this whole COVID-19 thing. A lot of people on their channels are doing one of two things. Either they ignore that it's happening or they talk about it and they make an entire video about it. I don't want to do either. I feel like it's important to talk about at least a little bit, but I also don't think it's worth obsessing over. Obviously, it's an important issue and we do need to take it seriously, but at the same time, by obsessing over it, it causes more panic and fear than necessary. As a Christian, the Bible says to not fear. There is no reason because honestly, even in this pandemic, God has already seen the end result, and if he doesn't allow a bird to fall from the sky without his consent, I think he'll have our backs. As bad as it looks, and as scary as it sounds, and as real as it is, our God is bigger, he's more real, and he knows what's up. So, I hope that encourages you just a little bit. If you're not a Christian, then that might not have meant anything to you, but I really hope that you are encouraged during this scary time and you are still, um, although you are social distancing to be wise, I, I do hope that you are still connecting to people because social isolation completely can be very damaging to mental health. So reach out, get online. Social media is very encouraged during this. Um, it seems very backwards. The world kind of flipped upside down. Everybody's now encouraging everyone else to be online because it's the safest way to connect with people. So thank God for uh, modern day technology, I guess. But yep, that's my dishes discussion. <laughs>
onto the couch. I have not vacuumed the couch or disassembled the cushions since we moved in. And I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that, but at the same time, that's reality. I'm lazy. I know I'm not the only person who procrastinates like it's their job and it wasn't as bad as I was expecting, but it still definitely needed done. Especially because Frankie likes to lay on the couch and his fur, I don't even know how, but fur and cat litter, it gets everywhere. If you are still here and you are enjoying watching me struggle to put these cushions where they belong, go ahead and like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content, or leave me a comment and tell me what else you'd like to see. Another thing that I do because we have a cat, I always lint roll the places he commonly lays because it's shocking the amount of stuff that comes off.
few videos ago, I pointed out that we had some leaks in our bedroom closet. Those have been repaired since, I am very happy to say, and uh, we are going to keep the arrangement that we had as temporary um, to keep that closet empty, just because I, I kind of like how we have it set up now, and I'm used to it. Also, me in this clip, I'm wearing something different because I had taken a break from cleaning, I'd showered, and then gotten back to the laundry, so... Oh, and there's Frankie sitting on my shirt. Mm. I am so proud of myself because I got nearly everything on my list done. I think I got all but three things done, and you can see me crossing out little things, but I'm pumped, so I'm really happy because in the mild isolation that we are all in right now, um, it's nice to have at least a clean home. So thank you so much for watching, I hope this motivated you in some way, and if you like my content, stick around, I'll see you in my next video.